This show is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find the other great shows on the network, head over to the Deluxe Edition Network.com. Bev's Video Kingdom is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. What up, BBK? Here we are. We are going. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Theme, theme, song? So theme song? Theme song? Oh, we do gotta do theme song, don't we? Okay, right. let's try this again. What's Ready? the theme How song? This. You better start it that way, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Just us forgetting the theme song. Oh, I guess now we can start this thing. <laughs> Zach told me to. He says, you can start this thing. All right, let's start this thing. Hey, what up, BBK? We are here tonight to draft. Mm. Oh, boy. And right now, currently in the standings, there is one person standing alone with one victory. That is right. Do you guys know who that is? He's <laughs> super handsome. Not a lot of hair, but he's super handsome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, this is uncharted territory for us to have... Zach in first place. I question yes. the entire validity of the enterprise. Well, Scotch, I know I know your answer is just Of course you do, fucker. <laughs> I fucking won that shit fair and square. My I'm, mom told me, Great way to go, Zach. Twenty twenty three is gonna be a so great supportive. year. I, I know. It. She was like, This is great for she Zach. She fucking posted well, that and, on the socials. And our boy Hank was like all you know, getting yeah. giddy about it. Yeah, dude. Hey, people fucking get behind the underdog, bud. Yep. Hey, you fucking underestimate that shit. There is people don't want to root for you because you're fucking. Oh, my voice is so deep. You know, people don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Zach, I don't mean to yeah, like Zach like really bust took your that person. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus. I don't mean to bust your bubble, but there is one person who didn't draft last week. What what, what's that person's name? Scotch Beck. Oh, oh come on, God, dude. No one cares about I'm just Scotch saying. Beck. If, if no he one, wins, no again, one cares I about might, the fucking front might, runner. The all time best winning percentage in the history of Bev's Video Kingdom, Scotch Beck. That's all. That's, that was according to Bev Metrics. You're like the you can't metrics. argue, with Bev can't argue with that shit. You're like the Eagles, dude. I'm Brock Purdy, just coming for your fucking throat, bro. Oh, oh boy, at this point, let's go. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's excited? Did that game already happen when this yeah, comes out? Yeah. It, did. it was Fuck. two weeks ago. <laughs> Damn it. it was two weeks ago, we so we're no either super excited Little because peek behind the curtain. In just a few, <laughs> we're either super excited because in just a few days the Super Bowl is happening with the Niners. Oh wow! Or otherwise, we're like, oh my god, that was like we got exposed so badly in that game. Time is a flat circle here at Best Video Kingdom, and uh, <laughs> oh, man. as far as we know, we just we just barely beat the Cowboys and look kind of like dog shit. And now we get to go play the Eagles in Philadelphia, and I'm feeling super confident. Not really. I'm scared. Uh, just, just keep just keep talking yourself into a uh, into a little corner here because at some point I can't get wait. Socials be like, oh I can't God, wait. The crazy thing is I'm gonna be driving in a car during the game with no radio on, with my DVR going, with my with my shout out to Scotch Beck. I'm gonna have the DVR rolling at the house recording the game because uh, and my phone turned off so that if you guys text anything, no, I will not I will not be responding. We're not gonna be home by time by the time the game. The game starts at twelve. Dude. It's a noon game, dude. Yeah. I think we have to. I think we're going to be on the road at twelve o'clock. How did you guys not plan it for like the week in between the Super Bowl and the NFC Championship? There's limited availability. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess that makes sense. You I mean, act like we. You guys already. You guys already moved once, so that was cool. Any say in what happens in our lives? <laughs> 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 All right, folks. So we today are here to draft, and, and this is going to be a four-person draft. Scotchbacks right in the middle of it. Our guest, our guest from last week's Coming to America pod, Greg, is coming to judge us. He's going to be the judge, jury, executioner. Uh, we are going to be We dropped drafting. him off in Zamunda. Yeah, he's he's, he's hanging out in Zamunda <laughs> right Greg. now. He's, he's fighting lions and tigers and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of wild. Um, but he uh, is going to be uh, judging our draft, which is the most memorable fish out of water characters. Now, Brad, explain to me what that means, because I know what it means, but I'm not sure my co-hosts know what it means. All right, so fish out of water character would be a character who gets put into a circumstance they are not used to and usually involves some misunderstandings and so like every movie hygiene. that was made from 1970 to 2000 oh yeah there's there's like a billion this is a deep <laughs> fucking so category there's a billion, <laughs> a billion options but 
We're looking for the most memorable. We're looking for the ones that stand out above all the, the rest. This was another one of those where you sent it out, and I was like, oh, shit. Okay, that's going to be pretty hard to find. And I started doing some research. I'm like, holy crap. It's going to be hard to choose. Yeah, it's like every other movie. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's What's bad is that it's so many movies, and it makes it really tough to figure out what the like first picks should be. You know right. what I mean? Because there's so <clears throat> many. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know who's not a fish out of water? Us on the Deluxe Edition Network. Dude, oh, true. transition! <laughs> I'm gonna change your name to King Segway right there. Yeah, just, that was uh, that was ultimate. Ultimate. No. Yeah, we are part of the Deluxe Edition Network. Scotch Beck, who was the Pod of the Months? This I'm sorry, Pods of the Month. Pods for of the Month. February. We have two pod pods. Of the months. <laughs> <laughs> we have two Pods of the Months. <laughs> no, I'm gonna <laughs> eyes. Everything's uh, everything's. <laughs> Uh, so we got uh, Spoil My Movie and World's True Crime are the pods of the month. And they, I tell you what, our little network is getting some amazing, really good mm-hmm. shows, amazing shows on here. We've had added a bunch lately. Shout and, out to and, Spoil My Movie because they have like uh, liked a bunch of our stuff and retweeted yeah, some of our stuff. Yeah. Ellen, 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 Chris, yeah. um, shout out to you guys. I actually hung out with them a little bit. I was on, um, actually, if you guys want to check out um, Deluxe Edition, did kind of a special um, holiday show and 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 uh, Matt from the Real Drunks was on there. They had Scotchy Claus and, on there, and, and Scotchy Claus oh, came on and shit. gave gifts to everybody and brought <laughs> Christmas joy. And um, well, and and we have either already been on or will be coming out on uh, the uh, uh, barrel barrel. I think it may flicks. have already happened. They said next Wednesday. Yeah, so yeah. Bar- barrel and age. Then, and Barrel Age oh. Flicks, yeah, they, they're, they're having us on. We're, we're going to be, uh, so te- def- look definitely look for a BBK look- guest spot on the Barrel Age podcast. We're doing their tasting room. We're doing a, the uh, top movie quotes, like, ever yeah. In, yeah, in film. It's, 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 it's a, a small category. category. Talk about a big category. Very specific. <laughs> we got, we, we got, we're, we're, we're reaching out, hoping to maybe make something happen with one of the newest shows, uh, History I'd Like to Fuck. Yeah. Yep. We, there's, uh, there's, and, and the Redeemables, who we kind of brought help to bring around. We're going to try to get some of them, the Aussies. Oh, our down under our, our bros. Buddies, our mates yeah. down under. Our mates. That's what they're called, not bros. What's oh, up, blokes. mate? Stevie we're Johnson. Blokes. What's up, they're, mate? They're good blokes. Yeah. Hey, Stevie. So we, we got a bunch. So that, that's a great network. The network's good and getting better. Yeah, yep. absolutely. There's a lot of good podcast options for you, so check that out. All right, folks, I think we need a draft order. You guys ready for a draft order? Oh, I'm God. so ready. I'm going to go to the bathroom while you do this. The little, All right. the little grin. Do we, have a, do we have a bumper for this? Well, no, we, we don't have a, a bumper. Oh. We don't have a bumper for this. Never we'll mind. have I'll a bumper. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> Zach, anyway. shut up. I'm going to have to write another fucking bumper. You should. So, for, the, for, the for, draft for the draft order, <laughs> folks, uh, do you guys remember that, that trip to Thailand that we took together? Oh, dude. So I could it, never forget those it. lady boys. It was it was a fucked up trip because as soon as we got there, I threw away all of our passports, and we decided that <laughs> we're going to see who's going to such a bad thing to do. We would see who's going to survive the best as a fish out of the water in a new country. So uh, we agreed that whoever was able to stay the longest in Thailand would get first pick in our fish out of the water draft for BBK. So that was our agreement on our trip. Remember I remember that. that. Yeah, remember yeah, that, yeah. So of course, Nate got sent home first. Uh, <laughs> He went to he, he went to like a local Thai spot and he ordered the hottest sauce that they had, <laughs> and uh, he blew a gasket really really quickly. And it's two for he, two for pick number four. <laughs> Does that make me the fourth? Pick? <laughs> he, he ended up in the hospital and he finally got deported for constantly just shitting everywhere. So it was it was a very problematic. Like how native you? Nobody was happy with that. Um, <laughs> Next to get sent home, Zach. What? No. You tried to start a new pick career. Three sucks. You, you tried to start a new. Oh uh, yeah, it does. You've you never tr- won it. Pick as any. Wait. No, I've, it's it's, it's I've there's won been it. two victories yeah. at, from 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 the third position right. in all of our drafts. Anyway, so yeah, you got sent home uh, because you tried to start a new career as a stand-up comedian in Thailand, yeah, that's, but it didn't that's work because all you wanted to do was make jokes about the city uh, Phuket because it looks like it says fuck it. And you were just making jokes about that constantly. And they're just like, get the fuck out hey, of those, those are good jokes, though, bro. I laughed. You said, get the puka out of our country? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I love good puka shell humor. <laughs> um, I I was the, 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 the second to last to get sent home. I decided to go on the Hangover 2 tour. Oh, yeah. That's to go see the one, sights actually. using that movie. And, and things got a little out of hand. And a couple of tattoos later... An arrest and a few STD tests later, uh, they finally <laughs> deported me. But Scotch Beck, you lasted the longest, man. He uh, gets the number one pick again. Well, he took up what kind Muay of bullshit Thai. Is this? How he, are you de- determining I, these orders? I don't know, but he took up Muay Thai and he became the first American heavyweight champion in Thailand's history. 
Why and, is it got a heavyweight, bro? Well, because uh, Scotch, being a big, bigger guy, you <laughs> you retired. Hey, you retired after a career record of one and zero, defeating the only Thai person in your weight class. So, as a celebrated champion, <laughs> oh shit, not a lot of big ties. You before. fucked that guy. You up. became <laughs> you became an honorary citizen of Thailand, and you uh, continue to own homes in both the U.S. and Thailand. So, congrats to you. You guys can visit anytime. Yeah, we we'll won't have to. Make, well, I'm not allowed. Crim fat. Nate's not allowed. And we'll fuck and, it. And we'll see if it's, if Zach can change his comedy. <laughs> I ruined the plumbing of an entire hotel. I'm never coming back. Some of that Thai right, food so, gets spicy quick. Bro. So that is first pick Scotch. Second pick is myself. Third pick Zach. Nate, you've got the Reacherito. I guess I don't see the connection of Thailand to this draft, but I love it. Let's go. Oh, we're just fish out of waters there? Is that what it is? Okay. Brad was, Brad was in the mood for Thai food. And <laughs> things got out of hand. I like Thai food. So what time is it, baby? Um, I think it is this time. It is draft day, folks. I left my balls in Thailand. <laughs> you fucked up those heavyweights. That's though. how you hit that note. Uh huh. No balls. Okay, so yeah, we were we were talking earlier. <clears throat> this is a deep draft, and this first round, it's just very, you know. It, it, uh, I don't want to cheat. I can <laughs> see your fucking thing. <laughs> uh-huh. and I really don't oh, want to cheat. Oh my lord! There's Thank already... you. He's there's yeah. There's shenanigans afoot. I just hey. asked Chat B- GPT what the best uh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fish out of water. Hey, you, you got a target on your back this season because you know. I know. I mean, I... aside from your tramp stamp, we are we're going at you because you're the you're the champ. <sighs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna agree with you on that okay. statement. Um. Fuck. It's one of those first picks that you kind of don't want. Agreed. I like third <laughs> pick in this one. Uh, I got to go with this one because I know Brad wants it next. Marty McFly, yeah, Back uh, to the Future. That, that, I so think there's I no... I think that's the clear one. I, I yeah. completely agree. No discussion. Yeah. it's <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of other ones that are really great, but that one I knew wasn't going to last and was going to piss people off. And, and Brad, I think Brad's pissed because I took it. Him in number one oh, is for sure the, the Lord. <laughs> 100% going Marty back to the future. Oh, Lord. That hurts so badly. All right, Brad, take Wally. Oh, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> trust me. This is where oh, Disney and Pixar. I was just say there's a couple Pixars that we that, could go wild. That I please take a Muppet or a Pixar character right now, you can please. Do it. It's you been can a while it. since he's done a Muppet, and and you it, know what? It's Bre- time. Yeah, he kind of dropped off there a little bit. And the, the cool thing is, I've got some in my pocket that I just feel like they're not going to get picked, and I'm I'm excited about that. Probably right. But I think my next fish out of the water is going to be. Um, we actually, it, it's always funny to me in this movie because we grew up with a uh, a kid who had the same name as this character. I'm gonna go with Josh Baskins from Big. That's where. I, that's probably where I would have gone. I think that's a great. That's wow. A great pick. One I of think, my, I one think of it's my, early. One of my favorite PG movies with some of the <laughs> wildest. Where PG I was like, movies. boys, sit down. We're gonna watch this PG movie, and then I had to do a bunch of explaining <laughs> about why he was fucking twelve, but groping a fucking forty year old woman. Yeah. yeah. It. I mean, I think it's a it's a really good pick. Um, but I don't know it too. We'll see. It's, yeah. I think it's great. It's, we're reaching. We're it's, reaching. It's I'm, all I'm, good. I'm getting pretty yeah. much all my picks I want. So I, I yeah. think this is the only one that I thought like, well, this might get ch- this might get taken. I think on the wrap, Nate's taking it for sure. So yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't last for sure. All right, Zach, you got to put some life into this third it's pick. Super to, to it's super easy. It's super. It's an easy fucking pick, and 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 I and it's very clear what the next pick is. One of my favorite theater experiences of my entire life. We're going Sasha Baron Cohen as Borat in the original Borat. That's that, that's. I don't even know that qualifies. But he okay. is the most fish out of water of any fish out of water that could be. He has no I idea what's it. happening at all it. at any time. I endorse, so th- this I have came fully up. Endorsed this. Yeah, this came up <laughs> on our most embarrassing pods of like yeah. it, it being a kind of situated in reality movie. How does that work? I, I had it on my list. I probably would have taken it at some point, but uh, that is a good one because one it, of my God, favorites. So fun and so fun, fun. so funny in the movie theater. For okay, sure. um, so I think I got to go with the t-shirt here. Okay, uh, I, I hard, like that. But it's I, hard not to take Eddie here. I mean, pandering, pandering. Well, 
I think there's Maybe. a better Eddie pick, but okay. Well, so, the, so the judge just picked this movie. So but but I mean, this is like a true. I'm not saying there's nothing like, wrong with the, the entire. The movie is based entirely on the premise of Fish Out of Water. It's, I, I that's will the whole thing. S- I will say that's that, why we but, picked this but category. Essentially, aside from like the mop where he kind of moves it around, they don't play on the whole like fish out of water that much. He's just a very nice guy. He is an African student. And he doesn't really, there's not really any things he where he's the like University confused, of the like, States. oh my gosh, how do I do this? Or how do I do that? I, I don't know. I, he, he walks off the plane and is like, we're going to be regular guys. And like, has yeah. no idea that, that they're, that, that's a And he insane. does kind of become regular then guy. He, then he walks out and may, tells the cab driver to insist he take him someplace. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I just think it's a, it's a little early, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then on the rap. Nate's playing the game. I'm just trying to be a hater because I thought that was a good pick. Uh, on the rap. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go with. I gotta go with Pretty Woman. Oh, Ooh, Sneaky. I didn't even have that on my list. The Ju- Julia Roberts. Uh, I mean, it's you know among the most famous. I think it's early, but I like the scene where she goes into the store and the lady fucking yeah. talks a bunch of shit and then goes back but, and then fucking. I mean, but it's like the whole again, the whole thing is like based on this idea that she's you know the the, the plot is driven entirely by this sort of like discomfort and there's lots of humor and there's lots of like romantic discomfort about it. Yeah. I, I guess my thing is like, she's like the, one of the most beautiful women ever. And we're supposed to believe that she's like this. Some, some, <laughs> nobody wants her or she's like this down you know luck. Like chick. So, sometimes beautiful women get, you know, catch my bad God. breaks too. Dude, Zach, yeah. I'm just saying you look like Julia Roberts. You're not down here. I really like long. that pick a lot. I think that's, that's a really good one. I didn't, I have it on my list and I put it on there going, Nate's totally going to grab that. So, <laughs> I, I just knew you would. I didn't even have it on my list, but it, I it was not on my lot. list either, but I, I think it's a good pick. So Zachy, uh, see, I've got a good one. So you're already worried. You're I'm like, afraid man. that you guys are gonna pick because now I he's got a, the he's got the first place pressure yeah. going now. No, I just I just have a really good one that I want to make sure is on my team. I already know where it's gonna be. <laughs> but I think what I'm gonna go with is a movie that I just watched recently that I really liked that I didn't think I was gonna like, and you guys are gonna be like, how could you have not seen this before? But I just watched it recently, and I'm gonna go with um. Vinny and Mona Lisa from My Cousin Vinny. Son of a uh, bitch. That's a great pick. And I. That's a great they pick. They are just so funny and freaking... Um, who's you, the, you don't get them both. Yeah, that's that was a question. Oh, no. We, yeah, we, you we, you we need to take a character. You've got to take the character. Pick which one you want. <sighs> yeah, either Vinny or Mona Lisa. Well, see, I don't know what the right answer is there. Well, oh, <laughs> she is. that sounds like a dilemma. Because, 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 what's her name uh, wins the Academy Award for that part, but like Vinny is like the fucking you know kind of the namesake of the movie and kind of the more out of place out of the two of them, I would say. So I would say, wait, if, hold, if on, we're hold going, on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at the most memorable fish out of water character. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it doesn't say characters. Okay, so I'm gonna go fish out of water. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, our dude from Home Alone. Uh, as Vinny and Joe Mike Pesce. Vinny. That, that's the correct. That's answer. the right pick. It, there's a there's an amazing again. I'm going to quote this book that I've quoted many many times. <clears throat> How I slept my way to the middle. Kevin Pollock. He tells this amazing story about them watching. He was with a group of a bunch of actors, <clears throat> and they're sitting. It was it was when he was filming Grumpy Old Men. Oh okay. And so they're all sitting there, and Walter Matthau sitting like right in front of the TV in this easy chair, and they're having like this party and people hanging out, whatever. And it's the Oscars where she wins. And like she was up against some major Hollywood royalty like stars, right? And <clears throat> so they're n- naming all, all the actresses and they're all saying, Oh, I think, you know, so and so is going to win. I think so and so is going to win. And nobody picked Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei at all. And so when they announced it, I guess they just, the whole room was just like, What the fuck? fuck like really? they're thinking like these other serious actresses are going to win or whatever and that's all this hubbub and all of a sudden he says it got kind of quiet for just a second and walter matthau says i'll give you my oscar for 10 bucks <laughs> just basically like who gives a shit shut the fuck up and just watch and who cares yeah yeah it's a crazy <laughs> little story walter matthau is like every time yeah. anybody talks about marissa Tomei, i always think about the fact that george and uh costanza in seinfeld thinks that he has a chance with her oh you guys remember that you guys remember that episode <laughs> i know nothing about seinfeld. <laughs> oh, dude it's so funny <laughs> that was a good pig zach i Thank i had you. that in my first round for sure 
All right. Well, now I'm going to go with my 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 family's unanimous number one pick, which I, I have to take it because it is an absolute fish out of the water story. And and you know when you got Will Ferrell, oh, that was the one I wanted to pick. To God damn it! You've got Buddy the Elf in That's the, the movie one. Elf. He is oh. pretty much the absolute dictionary definition of fish out of the water. I really and like he that just, pick, Brad. He's eating gum off of the things when he when he's just oh watch out the yellow ones are the yellow ones don't stop. Like he's, I don't know why I thought that was going to get to me. I yeah that was, I, that, was uh, I, 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 that was not going to get past him in this round or the next. I, I didn't sure. yeah. have him on my list. <laughs> yep, really? Yep, yep. Oh wow! Wow! I, I, I don't. Think there was an argument to maybe be made for that to be the number one. But that's my, my family. Features, my family. I, I figured that I could get it later, and my family was said that's the unanimous number one. So I'm I'm glad I got that, buddy. The elf. All right, we are back to Scotch. All right, he's got a little rap here. For some reason, I thought you were going to say this one. Um, but Buddy the Elf definitely makes sense, and I think that was a good pick. But I'm going to go with the international man of mystery, Austin Powers. Because he, like, comes into the modern day. Comes into modern day. Yeah, okay. All right. I agree that it's a fish out of water. I, it, it, it's there's so, so many of the characters are so such buffoons in that that I'm always like, is it a fish out of water? Yeah, I, I agree, though. I mean, it's it's fish out of waters that gets. He's he's stuck in the '60s. He's living in current times. He's learning about the current times. He's learning all a these million dollars. <laughs> right. That's so, it. yeah, I get it. All right, I like it. And then yeah, but that's not that's not Austin Powers. That's Doctor Evil. That was Doctor Evil. But you can only pick one character. I picked Austin Powers. Okay, thank you. Yes. You can pick Dr. Evil, Zach. I don't want to pick Dr. Evil. I okay. just want to fucking con- I want to shit on your pick. That's okay. all I'm trying to do. And then I'm going to pick what I think is the correct Eddie Murphy role, Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop. So I, I agree with you. So so here's the thing. He's still a cop. Like like that that for me that was the big deal. like Beverly mm-hmm. Hills and New York, you know, are not quite as different. But he obviously does not fit in with the way they 100%. do things. He's totally, like, totally agree. not by the book. They're completely and, by the book. And, you know, the movie's called Beverly Hills Cop because it's like, you know, an, a fish out of water yeah. in Beverly Hills. So I, I'm not saying it's not. I'm hey, the Beverly Hills Police Department had no clue that you could shove a banana into a tailpipe and just basically <laughs> prevent blow, a car from driving off. I'm not going to follow a banana in a tailpipe. <laughs> uh, all right well, that's a good pick um i was kind of thinking of leaning that way i i still think i there's a bunch of picks i'm looking at that this I'm one going, i'm gonna go I'm trying with. to decide what brad i i, I want to guess what zach's gonna be. I, I i wasn't sure if i could leave this till the fourth round and, and maybe i could have but i'm gonna go ahead and take it here um i'm gonna go ahead and take uh a guy who you know if you get jumped in the streets are you getting mugged in the streets of new york and a guy's got a little little pocket knife that he's threatening you with. You said, that's not a knife. This is a knife. No, that's a knife. <laughs> You're going Crocodile Dundee. I'm going that's fucking good, Crocodile a, Dundee. Running and, around the streets of New York City just going wild. And, and this is where I overthought it. I thought that would totally drop as a sneaky fourth round. I didn't think you guys I had were that into one. that. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know that I would have taken it. or I, would, I don't know that I would have taken it, but it would have been in the conversation. So I, I I wasn't sure if it would fall to me in the fourth, but I, I guess I was picking before you, so maybe you I could have got it. it yeah, so that, that would actually, if it hadn't gotten picked and then you grabbed it in the fourth, I would have been really upset because I was like, oh, I would have been sitting there going, oh, here it comes because it was my number one of my second round. All right. Well, <clears throat> Zach, you're back up. I, I'm looking at this draft. Uh, We've all got solid picks. These are this solid. Is, this teams. is going to be a tough draft. I don't envy Greg at all. Uh-uh. Damn. I hate that. <clears throat> I've got one that I want to pick, but it's just, it's so tough because there's literally, it's every movie that's ever come out, you guys. Like, there's <laughs> know, just, dude. there's no <laughs> end to it. Like, freaking, ugh. I'm, I have one more pick, and I just, I, we should have made this like a fucking 10 round. <laughs> I've got two that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for, and I'm still not sure which one I'll go. But I think one of them is going to get picked before we get there, but I've got two that I'm super excited to pick. I I'm have gonna, no idea because you guys have actually picked a few that I was like, oh, I'm that'll gonna go drop. With, I'm going to go with my heart. This usually does not go well for you. Nope. I am going to go with one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. I had the VHS, and I fucking love this movie. Jim Varney in and we're <laughs> Scared Stupid. No. <laughs> ah, that'd be great. I am going. He's fucking getting a lot of love right now. My dude, Brendan Fraser in Encino. Oh. Uh, 
So I have that one. I he is the ultimate oh, fish out of water as a, a fucking caveman in 1992. Do you remember his name? Uh, Link. There you go. Yep. I already Very typed nice. it in the for you. So, yep. Link. Link. That is a classic one because uh, when he's just do he basically kind of parrots everybody. And when 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 yes. Polly Star starts wheezing the juice, wheeze the juice. He's, 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 he's there, wheeze the juice. <laughs> wheeze the juice was one of the all time. Like I, I've been I, said a lot. I repeat that a lot. One boy's Gonzongus. I have not seen that movie probably since. Within like three years of when oh. it came out, I need to. I, I well, do I need to watch it again? Because well, you guys all shit on me when I took Rick or, or I think that's his name, Rick, in the movie as the the bully, and you guys were like, "Oh, fuck that!" And I was like, "He's a great bully in that movie." Once I remember the meme, I I, I felt bad for giving you shit. Yeah. So in the in the in the scheme of bullies, he's not one of the top sixteen though. I thought he was, but <laughs> Brendan Fraser is getting like the whole like love lately, and that's that's so awesome because that dude seems like just a genuinely he really seems like the nicest guy. dude, cool right? Person. Yeah. So I'm happy for him. All right. Uh, there's a lot I really want to take here, mm -hmm. but I got to go Tommy Callahan from Tommy Boy. Oh, damn. I didn't even think of this one. I like it, but I mean, he's really going back to his own hometown. Is he really a fish out of water in his own hometown? It's the salesman. He's being a the salesman. He's, 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 I'm like going to get it. I get he's, it. he's a brake pad salesman. I like the pick. I just, I don't know. I don't I just want to shit on it. I mean, <laughs> fat guy in a little coat. I want to make sure I shit on it. This one I'm going to go with my heart. I, I don't think that this is the obvious, but if he thinks carefully, Andy Dufresne from Shawshank Redemption is a true fish out of water. Oof. Fresh fish. Fresh fish, literally fresh, fresh fish. fish. <sighs> that's that's I that's very much that like a in the heart type pick. That's yeah. I, I a lot of these that you usually assume fish out of the water. Means I don't comedy. disagree with the pick. This is very dramatic and it and it it makes sense. It makes sense. We we might have like this might be one of the like best like all around picks. Well, we, it also is gonna done. be. We're gonna have to limit like our also rans to like top three or something. Yeah, no shit. For to to kind of piggyback on Nate's like really heartfelt one, I'm gonna go with uh, one from my heart, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Detective John Kimball from Kindergarten. Son Damn, up. I had that one. Hard I almost went there. He's still not I'm Detective John Kimball. <laughs> it's not a tumor. I watched that movie so much. I remember renting that and watching it at my Such grandma's house time. over and over. Who and just is your it daddy so and what does he do? And there's just like some comedy relief, but there's also like some great action sequences. And uh, it's kind you know, of a the hard bad fun. guy is like such a, violent, a good bad like a, guy. Yeah, 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 it does, dude. <laughs> it's a sol that's a solid pick. I love it. That was definitely ah, one of my, and me, I think that makes it easier for me because I think I know where I'm going. For now. everybody at home, both me and Brad just jumped back from our mics <laughs> and just got fucking pissed and like yeah. shook our fists at him. And for sure, uh, <coughs> damn. damn. And so, and Sino Man and 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 uh, John Kibble coming off the board, it, that does hurt. I'm coming at Greg's uh, age demographic right now. I'm going into Greg's wheelhouse as like a young man. Oh boy! Now I think I'm just gonna get. Oh, I, but I don't want to do it because, like, God, it, it ruins my pick in so many ways. Because I don't want to go with the same actor, but I feel like I'm going to. Oh, I know exactly where you're going. Paul Ho <sighs> Paul Hogan in Crocodile. He's Betty going too. twins. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Which that's not a bad pick. Um, He's going Will Ferrell fuck, again. Fuck fuck fuck. All right, let's go ahead and go with Doc Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are we supposed to guess? Yeah, that's actually that's actually yeah, that's, that's an, a good that's, that's a, an also ran. That's a sneaky pick right there. Sneaky movie too. All right, <coughs> I'm I'm mixing it up. Oh, this usually doesn't work out too good. I'm going <laughs> Dolores Van Cartier. Who? I love that I don't know who that is. Sister Act. <laughs> oh, that's hard. a great pick. So I almost took that one. That's a great. That, pick. that one was. That was in competition with Shawshank. I will follow him, follow him wherever he. I just heard. My, I just heard my brother say, "Idiot." My, my, I love that show. Well, that's fine, but my, <laughs> it's not going to win you. My the wife draft, and daughter both. They show. watched both of them recently, and yeah, I. And, that's and a it's, great pick. I mean, I forgot that Lauren Hill's in the number two, and and, and oh, dude, she's Lauren pretty badass Hill? in it. Yeah, so it's and super beautiful too. Yeah. Freaking dude. Well, I mean, uh, she's a high school kid in that one, so. Ah, uh, Lauren Hill. <laughs> she's make, playing a high school kid, dude. Don't, don't make it weird, Zach. <laughs> yeah, God damn it. She's really so, ugly. So Is that what I'm supposed to say? I, so, I legit. So, uh, well, I'll tell you what I was gonna pick. What, what, what? Why? Right. There's one here that if we did, if it doesn't go in the last, it's crazy that we didn't pick it. Okay. 
Let's find out what that is. <laughs> Scott, you back. You've got the last pick. I'm, I'm, there's a, a there's, big this list. This is a very exciting look. Yeah. Just take Bastion from Never Ending Story and we get on with it. Dude. Okay. <laughs> Bastion! I, I'm telling you, Pixar and Disney Say are just wide name. open. Just they've got open yeah. arms. Are now just come to our side. Okay, Scotchy, a lot of good picks. <clears throat> just do it. Take Lightning McQueen. There's a legit. <laughs> That's <laughs> perfect. That's a great pick. <laughs> it's not a bad pick. It's on my list. What about Mater in the second one where he's a spy, oh, bro? Mater. He's so fish out of water when gotcha. he's in Europe, guys. And he's still eating a pick pistachio. <laughs> Statue <laughs> ice cream. I'm just I'm trying, we're trying to lead him down the road. I'm thinking of just a guy that is just not in a place that is he's comfortable being. He's trying to figure a lot of shit out. It's very confusing because none of the rules make sense. Everybody's just definitely I know advanced in a place that you just can't believe. Joe, Luke Wilson, and Idiot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. that. That's Idiocracy. a good pick. That was I like on my that. list. I didn't I yeah. It's yeah, there's there's a bunch, there's all these other ones I have. Mostly because I'm thinking, I don't think our judge would know them very well, and I think hopefully he does. So, so like, there's big ones like <clears throat> like Damon from Goodwill Hunting. Like, I know we so, we, hey, we, we hammered. We got, we got to save all Sarans. We're gonna save okay. all Sarans. Oh, right. we're saving all, all Sarans. I, I do get to say that I was going to back up. Uh, you go, John Kimball, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was gonna take the T800 with my next pick, but I was oh, like, okay. I can't go back to back. I thought I thought for sure the other Schwarzenegger was gonna be twins. No, I was I was thinking T eight hundred because it's like it's a killing machine, but it's now a fish out of the water because it's okay. not supposed to kill people. Okay. I don't know. It might have been a terrible pick. There's so many. There's a ton. The one, All right. the one I was shocked by was L Woods. Just I don't want to that, yeah. That's what that, so so, I was so I, go that, that one's like on every list. It's like yeah. right on brand. I think we picked all males. No, no. No, there's a couple. Sister Act, and I took Julia yeah, Roberts. Julia Roberts. Award. Second round. Good job, guys. Good job. Because yeah, I, I was going to go Lindsay Lohan and Mean Girls. I, I literally uh, <clears throat> was going back and forth between L, but I actually have never seen the movie. And mm, I just. and I, a Good I, choice. I, yeah. That's good. All right. I'm going to go Mark Wahlberg and Fear. Are we just are we just saying are we just saying characters now? He's a fish out of water. He's got a girlfriend from the right side of the tracks, bro. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, I'm gonna impress her. I'm gonna carve her name into my chest. We're 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 stretching here. We will be back forever with some judging just shortly, folks. Take care. I'm Tawny Ray, and I'm Felicia Connor, and we are two chicks in a horror flick, a weekly horror movie review podcast. We are two horror-addicted best buds sharing our unedited, comical, no-bullshit opinions on the horror flicks we love and hate. And you can always expect some interesting movie trivia. We cuss a bunch, spoil the shit out of some movies, and drink a little whiskey. You can find us on every social media platform and listen to us on your favorite podcatcher by searching Two Chicks in a Horror Flick. And remember, no nightmares! Metrics, YouTube assist. Gonna point out all the shit that we missed. It's the draft judge crushing dreams once again. You guys need to go back and rewind that intro there and listen to the bass line that Scott Beck is laying down during that song. Dude, <laughs> it's fucking wild. The, funny, the funniest <laughs> thing is, I was literally sitting here going, that is the like biggest fake job of a best <laughs> part ever. It's like, <laughs> if, it, dude, if, if, I play, if I played the isolated track of that, oh, you, it'd be hilarious. It, oh, it'd be great. Cause that's just like, I'm just like, burp, burp, burp. and I just got lucky with a few little stabs. Uh, in there, hey, so it, it's great. It's, it's funky. terrific. It's a so. dynamic baseline. Yeah. Go ahead, Brad. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we are here. Um, fresh back from Zamunda. We've got Greg. He is here to judge us. How was, how was Zamunda? How did it treat you? It was great. Did your ro- did your royal is your royal penis clean? The royal penis is clean. <laughs> royal penis is super clean. Made him forget about his Cowboys uh, <laughs> embarrassing performance against the Niners the other day. <laughs> so excited was, that we had found to bring out. It up. So excited bring that we it found out because we don't know if the Niners right now are on to the Super Bowl or if they just. It got doesn't matter. We beat the Cowboys. Just, that's, that's really true. all I care okay. about. Okay. <laughs> it hurts two years in a row. It's oh like, God, that's brutal, man. I feel bad. You know, I mean, I mean by quarterbacks that nobody wants you know i mean it's it's weird because you know the niners i mean we're gonna be we're gonna be paying our quarterback next year probably like seven hundred thousand dollars and you guys are gonna be paying z i mean daca like 
Just That's know. not even mentioning what they're million? gonna pay Zeke. How about that? How about that last play where they put Zeke under center and fucking <laughs> got destroyed? destroyed. Yeah, uh, I saw the uh, intention of trying to get more athletes on the field, but the Niners saw that and they're like, "Oh, we'll just fuck all this up right now." <laughs> was, I mean, that wild. formation. I was thinking, uh, Little Giants back in the day when we we're what, <laughs> annexation of Puerto Rico. <laughs> 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 well, I think they really thought that Zeke was gonna be able to like break forward I and then so take a, a, a little pitch. Yeah. And they then, thought they yeah. were gonna bring every lineman away from the away from the line right there, and it didn't well, didn't he, quite work. He typically does good with uh, pass blocking. You know, when he has to chip at you know a line oh, yeah, yeah. coming through. So he's I, not I, afraid to, to mix it up. For I sure. think they were just he would be able to buy Dak uh, a couple seconds and yeah. he just doesn't yeah. snap the ball very often. He was standing, yeah. he was, he was in the, in the, in the, in the, in the formation, you know, to do in, in the snap formation and Fred Warner was standing like two feet away and this was, <laughs> no, that was, it was a, I think it was a, a share. Who did it. Oh God. Yeah. Anyways. So just, sorry, Greg, I take it, it back. Your Cowboys did a great job. They almost did it. I'm sorry that I, brought it up. <laughs> I was going to say, because like at, you might announce your results here in a minute. Remember, it's Zach that started this shit right now. <laughs> yeah, you can always take can, away a few can, points at the yeah. end there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Makes you feel any better? I thought the Niners played like shit too. So, all right. Oh, so yeah. we drafted the most memorable fish out of the water. Yep. We were looking to see uh, kind of like coming to America. You have Prince Akeem who is uh, goes to the United States and has a a very kind of misadventure looking for his 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 some some bride. He's looking for a woman to take home. New York is. Bad. I I just thought about that. I was like, does that sound terrible? You want to take home, take home a woman? Is, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's the plot of the movie. <laughs> Literally the entire plot. But he was looking it for does a woman. Sound that, bad, yes. He was looking for a woman that cared about him and right. and, and liked him for, and then abducted her. She liked me for me, not because. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> it's been a while since somebody pulled out. Blessing sure. you, blessing you to the souls. <laughs> Pretty sure Scott Beck. Didn't you tour with them at some point? I, 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 I might have smoked something on their bus. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, that was that was a summer fest uh, callback. Shout out! Oh, that, I, they they came out to Charlie's. So, yeah, so a couple of those guys came out to Charlie's and jammed with us. Um, and then we actually when we played X Fest, the very first X Fest in Modesto, which was a crazy concert party. Yeah. It was a porn show, right? No, it was not. <laughs> that that oh, was that was much later. That was Triple X. That was more X's. Okay, so, got you. And so this is like when 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 your brother's band was just huge, and um, we, we were just coming up and like people were going nuts and we had our song and so apparently like we had that crowd just going nuts. There was a mosh pit going out there and it was just like and we're not a mosh band at all <laughs> at all, but it was just nuts and like there's fights and stuff and it's just crazy. And we were early in the day too, and Blessed Union was next, and I didn't know this at the time, but when we actually met up with them in Davenport, Iowa later. And I'm hanging out on their bus, maybe smoking something. And they're like, wait a minute, you're that band from Modesto. And we're like, oh, yeah. It's like, dude, we were in the bus ready to leave because we thought there was a riot getting ready to start. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're, and we're like, who the fuck are these Modesto guys? In the Whipping band? them into they, a They'd frenzy, never heard of it. They didn't bro. know who we were and whatever. And so like, they were getting ready to leave. So That's bad. It was That's great. Not, well, I'm glad I threw out that. I know. Random couple flying, bars. Flying blind in NWA, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> causing stampedes <laughs> all right so greg uh you were tasked with looking at our draft and then deciding on on some winners so what is your judging criteria when you were thinking about memorable fish out of the water characters what what is it that you were was going to stand out to you with our picks here well i mean for me i was uh, just looking at the criteria or not the criteria but what you guys had picked it's just like who just embodies that you know, so, and just have a descending order from, you know, from there. And some of you guys, uh, whomever it was, like they picked who I would have picked. So, there you oh go. boy, you know, so, so you kind of rank, ranked them yourself yeah. and then, and right. then kind of, it's kind of like cards back. against humanity. You guys are trying to get in my head. Like what would I pick? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. right. <laughs> I got no, you. We wouldn't, do, we wouldn't do that. that. We never try to play the judge. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. There was a lot of discussion over would Greg know? We, he would know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be right in his wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of them that were my picks. So, so was it, yeah. so it was a, pretty damn deep draft i mean like there was a lot that and we'll talk about it afterwards with also rounds but like did we pretty much get most of what you thought ahead of, when you went in ahead of this yeah yeah um were there I any have, that any that you were like holy crap i i didn't even think of that one 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, when we got to what is it round round four? I mean, it was a good call with like Sister Mary Clarence. That was oh, like right. just yeah. out of, <laughs> and partly I uh, that's fresh in my mind because my daughter is like watching that. So uh, I'm like, yeah. oh, that 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 plays. And suddenly, I don't think that pick sucks as bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, what do you got for score? So without the teams, mm-hmm. give us the scores. How close were the scores? Were they close? Was it so? A, a, Shootout. So who won? Do you guys want to know who? Won? No, we, no, no, we want to just, know just no. points. Yeah. So, so okay. don't tell us teams. Just right. say the lowest. Well, what was the lowest so the, point? So total? the lowest point uh, total was um, was eight. Eight. Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Right. And then uh, was it was lower better? No. 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 Okay. no. Okay. So, <laughs> so the the, the <laughs> score. It's not, it's not my, brother, golf. my brother's golf. It's not golf rules. <laughs> okay. So I didn't want to go to like one to 10 or anything. So I just cut it nice and simple. Okay. Uh, one to five. Um, okay. Okay. So um, top pick got five points. Second pick got uh, three. So there's a, a differential. And then um, third pick got two and last place got one. So you you went oh, wow. round, round by round. You went round so by round, round by round. The top round. pick got oh, five, okay. three, Cause, two, cause and I like that. Kind of thought okay. like you're, so yeah. number so the number one pick for that round was weighted pretty heavily. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Got gotcha. you. You won the round. Well, no, that's, every that's, yeah. If you round, if you, that's you what I mean. If you had the best pick that round, yeah. five points is is pretty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Eight. Okay. All right. So the lowest score was eight. So somebody. Okay. So somebody should the bed. All right. So what was the? We won't say it was Nate's team yet. What was what was the third place score? Third place score was nine. So oh shit. So two people shit it. Yeah. So tight. 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 Second second place. Second place was ten. So eight. What is happening? And somebody had fifteen points. Somebody had sixteen. Oh my god. Shit. Because they because they actually hit you know my number one. Yeah. You know. Oh. Now I'm nervous. Somebody has no idea where this went. This is my. Michael Jordan rising up over like three different guys dunking, and we're all just sitting there. That's looking funny because I wow. felt I felt pretty good, and now I don't. <laughs> boy. Oh, boy. I, mean, oh boy. I love that. I love I love how that just you're all. Wait a minute. If I won by that much, I can't. Yeah, won. there's no way that I won by that much. <laughs> I think this person was like they just knew. You. Oh, they were they, they were in sync, and then they. Oh, they maybe somebody who went to college with you or something. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe. maybe. And they just I, fell I, off the I, table. I, I will say, if I, if I was a betting much. man, I would not be betting on myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all okay. right. So, all right. So give us. So so tell place. which so, which team was the eight point fourth place? Eight point what, fourth. What, what, fourth what, team place. team one two three or four was that who had eight points? Team one. Had team oh, one. Last place. Eight points. <laughs> That was That's Marty McFly from Back to <laughs> the Future, Austin Powers, International Men of Mystery, Axel Foley, Beverly Hills Cop, and Joe from Idiocracy. And Did right you want now, some Nate is, is handing some. He's trying to hand some grenadine across to Scotch Beck. <laughs> Scotch Beck was team. Who's one. notably quiet, appro- uh, appropriately quiet. Well, I'm, oh I'm following boy. the rules. I have no opinions. <laughs> All right, Greg, Greg, take us to your team. What What about that team? Just was not working for you. Well, I just think that there is better options. Okay, so you you're know, saying so you're going through the the rounds. I mean, Marty McFly is like that's a compelling one. So did that get uh, five points? No, no that did. That wasn't the best in the first round. Okay, okay. right. So first round, don't say who no, no, yeah, don't no, 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 yeah. We don't want to we want to know too much spoiler here, but <clears throat> right. So it wasn't it wasn't the top pick of that round. Well, okay, one. that's interesting. So I mean, I think the second and third pick is where everything gets a little in it because those those point totals kind of are. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're all close. So yeah. So for so, what do you guys want to hear? I, like, no, just we're, just we're just hearing team one. Like, <laughs> which which of those do you think were great picks? Which do you think like they weren't just weren't great picks? Like, is there is there any that you're just like? Hey, I, was, I was in the two points any, of any, second place. I'm good. Yeah, any any from team one that stand out as great or terrible? So, really, no issue. But there is better. There's just better answers. Okay. So, um, I mean, I like the Marty McFly pick. I like, um, you know, Austin Powers as well. I mean, it, I think those were were solid, but there were there were better ones. Okay. Yeah, so. they were they were really good picks. They just got last. Place. You know, the, the best thing is when I when I made those picks, you guys all agreed that those were really great picks. We did. Time. We but did. You know, what? I think we said that about everybody's picks. I know, yeah. right? So somebody, <laughs> had to, somebody had to lose here. We so. were being polite. Those were dog shit. All right. Yeah. All right. So all right, that's that's team four. Enjoy your grenadine, I will. and uh, we'll go ahead and move on to. I'm putting which, whiskey in my fucking grenade. Scott doesn't team. know what it feels like to get last place. He's never been in this position before. I've been in before. last place before. <laughs> which is it's like, it? this is a weird feeling. I don't <laughs> like it. Uh-huh. Which team was third place? So that would have been team four. 
Team oh, four. yeah, baby. With Let's nine go. points, Oops. dude. Team four with nine <laughs> points. Team four included <laughs> Prince Akeem from Coming to America, Vivian Ward, Pretty Woman, Tommy Callahan, Tommy Boy, and Andy Dufresne, The Shawshank Redemption. I still like that pick. So what pick would you say killed Nate's draft? Would you say it's the last pick of the draft of Andy Dufresne from Shawshank was Redemption? That, no, Tommy Callahan. I think that he was, you know. Oh, you like that? Nate was uh, getting smoked until he made the Andy Dufresne. Oh, shit. Wow. Nice so, that, so that was my, for that round, that was number one. Oh, goddamn. Oh. So wait, you didn't like the. Dude, the, you could have got like a four. <laughs> <laughs> you hadn't have got those five points. I got. You saved yourself. I would have got from one. Disaster. I get one for the last pick, dickhead. <laughs> so, so, so what? Uh, so, so what, what? How did you feel about the uh, the the T-shirt, the coming the, to America, pa- pick? the pandering pick of Akeem? I mean, it's. I mean, one we reviewed it, but you know, did I? I mean, from my perspective, was he really that much of a fish out of water? So we talked. We may have talked about Brad that. Brad brought that yeah. up. Yeah, that's kind of the way I felt about it. I mean, yeah. Marty McFly. I mean, we weren't talking about Back to the Future in the podcast or uh, for the mo- uh, movie review, but I mean, Marty McFly was yeah you know, out of his and, element, and then of course Big. So, yeah, but they were in reverse order. It was Big, then Marty McFly, right? And then Borat, and then Prince Akeem. So in that, that Borat, way. way more fish out. Have you ever been to Kazakhstan? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is all is horse shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's rigged. Second place, and then we'll fucking find out. All right. Have so some Tostitos just, just creamy that, cheese that and chill the, out. As the second pick is released, we obviously will know who won, but we'll go through the second the second place first, and then we'll talk about the first place. So. Okay. All right. All right. In Whoever second place, first, with, try and contain with, with themselves. 10 points, with 10 points, second place was which team? Team three. <laughs> team three. It's tough to be team three, but that team three in- consisted of Borat, Vinny from My Cousin Vinny, Link from Encino Man. And John Kimball from Kindergarten Cop. Okay, so did who killed me? Who killed me there? Did 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 Encino Man kill me? Actually, I liked the Encino Man. Okay, in, in that particular round, I think Encino Man was strongest. Okay, all right, oh, wow, okay. let's go. So, so, and then obviously he said he loved Andy Dufresne, and then uh, yeah. So who was the he, second best pick in the last, the last round? round? The second best pick in the last round. Let me look at this. Sister Act. Oh, okay. So that's where freaking Guy yeah. Fox over here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you. So it's. <laughs> if it, here's a, here's a, here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. If I would have picked L from Legally Blonde as my last pick, would that have been better or worse or anything? From Joe from Idi- instead, Idiocracy. Instead, instead of Idiocracy. It would have been better. Would have been better. Yeah. But would it have how how would it have ranked in the in the four? It would have um, gotten you fourth place. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious because that's one that that Nate said was a big it, miss by it, all of us. It might have, it might have bumped me to like maybe out, third or something. It would have probably put uh, Kindergarten Cop at, at last. Okay, damn, and, you know, last right. place for John Kimball. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think that was too too out of out of these being things. a kindergarten teacher. When you're an Austrian bodybuilder, <laughs> I mean, come on. Bro. Well, I didn't look at it from that perspective. <laughs> I mean, I, I looked at the actual role. So he was an yeah. undercover yeah. cop. Yeah. You know, he's kind of he had to play. You know, the kindergarten. He's cop, so much right? bigger than them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right so. all right well I, I i will say i when i looked at this draft i was like this can go any way and i don't think i had any intentions here greg i'll pay you later what's well, funny i um, really didn't think your team was well, any team good. two it's really weird that they were roommates team two uh, we were out. never roommates we're well we, we, we shared a six together. person room together that's what yeah. i was saying yeah. I mean, you, you learn a lot of things about people you guys spooned and in slept on a twin rooms. bed together i get it i get it <laughs> Um, team two consisted of Josh Baskins from Big, mm-hmm. Buddy the Elf from Elf, Crocodile Dundee from Crocodile Dundee, and Dolores Van Cartier, Sister Act. So so tell me what place fucking Crocodile Dundee got, because I hate that pick. Um, <laughs> Crocodile Dundee. So that was the second pick. of Jesus yeah. Christ. That's a, that's a fish it's, out of water that, as, that as much good, as it can be. It's yeah. a good pick in that way. Yep. Because he's in a different country? I no, don't understand. Because he has a knife? Because like every scene is about how he's like... He takes the shit off the limo awkward. and he throws that's it like awkward. a fucking boomerang. Like, that's amazing. God damn. <laughs> that's not a knife. I thought that's that, a knife. Yeah. That's I mean. not a knife. <laughs> 
Stevie um, Johnson, I'm sorry, but fuck, it's terrible. <laughs> Your countryman. <laughs> that, that pick was in honor of Stevie Johnson. Is that guy know. legit? Is that guy legit Australian? Paul, who, Paul who? Hogan? Yeah. As, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He is. He is. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Bite your fuck. tongue, mate. I never. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, real, uh, real quick. Uh, I've never random. Been there. You're a fantasy football guy. Yep. Mr. Roto or whatever his name was. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Matthew Barry. Matthew, Matthew Barry. He, Talented I Mr. believe, Roto. wrote the script for Crocodile D- Dundee is in Los Angeles, like the, the third one or whatever. I think that's right. He's done a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. He was a writer for a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, I think that's that's his claim to fame for movie-wise is Crocodile Dundee 3. <sighs> all right. Well, I, hey. I, I'm glad that Zach didn't so, win. So, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, just, hold on. Because I, 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 we all are happy that Zach didn't win because having him win back to back to start I was the rooting for. I, I are will say me? I was rooting for Zach. Just so you guys know, a friend of mine told me told me <laughs> you're a terrible winner. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> Greg, so uh, of those picks, like I really didn't know if anyone would resonate with you. I really went with mostly just all I wanted was my own stuff. So yeah. What do you think? Like what Josh Baskins, you said that was your number one. Like that that kind of stands out to you as just complete fish out of the water because he's uh, you know, fucking older women. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, just, he goes from a teenager to what was he like a 30-year-old man? I think he was like 12, yeah. dude. He yeah. wasn't even a teenager. Yeah. 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 He had no pubes to like full fucking Jerry curl like real quick, <laughs> right? He had, <laughs> all of a sudden he's walking around in Tom Hanks's like skinny fat body. So, I, I, Greg, I'll say my, my family thought that Buddy the Elf was the number one overall pick, and I got it in the second round. I was happy to get Buddy the Elf. How did Buddy Elf do uh, compared in that round? Round two. That was number one. Gosh. Oh, I sh- knew I should have gone Buddy the Elf. I went, uh, I went fucking Joe Pesci, and I should have gone Buddy the Elf. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's what Robert De Niro says a lot. <laughs> I, look, I look at my picks, and I say, you know what? They're all, it's very, I'm almost like stereotypical. Like fish out of the water picks. Like um, I was, I, I thought Andy Dufresne was creative as fuck. I loved that yep, pick. Yep. Um, I thought that Joe from Idiocracy was not even on my list, and that frustrated me. I was like, oh my lord, how did I not put Idiocracy on my list? Like, yep. I mean, there's ones out here that I'm like, those were incredible. Yeah. Mine's kind of like almost chalk. It's like it's like very stereotype. Like here's fish out of the water. If you want being all humble and shit. Are, are we? I'm just saying. Talk are we shit. done? So, are we done celebrating Brad's with victory? No, you okay, did good, perfect. Brad. You did really <laughs> you did, good. You he's had like, great picks. Brad's Brad. like, I'm gonna have one of my best friends on, and then he's gonna pick me as the winner. That's cool, dude. <laughs> I, mean, I like that. I, That's I a good did strategy. win the most drafts last well, uh, I, last in 2022. I won the most drafts. So I mean, I'm yeah, pretty capable. Yeah. Of You're the one that counted them too. You fuck. Yeah. So somehow we just let we keep we keep letting Brad. Come up with the draft <laughs> orders and, and become distracted by the fact that he tells these stupid stories. So much, and so we don't even bother to ask, "How'd you come up with the draft order, Brad?" For real, no coincidence <laughs> that yesterday, <laughs> last week, he finds out that third place never wins, and I win, and he's like, "Oh, guess who has third place this week?" <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, and when I when I did the randomizer and it did that, I was like, "That's so fucking funny." It's, it's exactly what Zach's gonna say. And when you guys see this whole draft season, when I don't ever have the third pick, you be like, "Okay, something's yeah, up." Exactly. When he says randomizer that means he just writes down the order that he wants and then says yeah. let's go <laughs> text it to greg exactly what the freaking order is and who has what and make sure you pick team number four or whatever it is all right i'm, I'm ready cheater. i'm ready to go balls deep in these all rands. oh uh, wow is that what hold we're on doing a second. are we are we gonna talk about also rands? let's talk about also rands. all right let's do that how the fuck could we miss that one i just don't All right, Greg. So you got to judge this thing. So what what did we miss? What were we uh, uh, just absentmindedly forgetting here, or just it just didn't have room on our our four picks each? What did we need to add to this draft? Um, and these are just movies, right? Uh, yeah, characters for Char- movies. Yeah. Characters yeah, yeah. for movies. Because I actually went. There's one I thought you guys would totally nail if it was actually a series, but Ted Lasso. I, uh, no, no, no. Oh, that's but what I was actually, thinking. Actually, some we, of these are kind. Well, we stay out of TV. That's yeah. so yeah, we, we, do, we always do. We yeah. always do movies. Well, so. I want to pick TV every time, and they won't let me. So. <laughs> well, I mean, this was. It's not TV, but yeah, HBO. But what is it? So uh, I actually got pretty dark with this. So this is Game of Thrones, and I put Reek. Oh, so, oh yeah, Theon does, Lovejoy. He does become a fish out of water. Yeah, yeah. Theon, <laughs> Theon Greyjoy. Yeah, Greyjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was Lovejoy. No, it's Greyjoy. 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 You know what? Not a lot it, of love. What it is is um, what's it called? Uh, word corrector. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you this. you got autocorrected auto for sure. <laughs> It'd be great if his name was Lovejoy with no dick. <laughs> Reverend Lovejoy. So, so what, are the, what are the top like movie uh, ones you've got? So that we Big missed? was on there. Okay. Um, Shawshank, you already heard. Andy Dufresne. And then... Um, Wait, so you picked Shawshank that, that was on before, your list. Was on before my list. Nate yeah. picked oh, it? Yeah. Wow, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... Um, so do you guys remember that movie uh, with Howie Mandel, Walk Like a Man? Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, played that Bobo character. He was Bobo. <laughs> that is very much a fish out of water. I didn't. Yeah. I used to love that movie, mm-hmm. and I have not thought about that movie for probably twenty years. And the fact that you said that right now, that's great. Because yeah. I've never oh heard of that Lord. movie. I mean, she's trying to like bathe him in the, yeah, the that, shower and yeah. shave him. And, yeah, <laughs> he's and he's, he's like, basically like he was raised by like, he was wolves. Dying. Oh, and so they they basically are trying to like bring him into society. And oh, dude, what about Nell, bro? I was just thinking that, oh. <laughs> except except, except, that, except that she's kind of like that never really goes out of the water. Like like he yeah. they he really comes to her. in the wind. I'm a tie in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so and then uh, you never go full Nell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other uh, the last pick I had, which is dark, it's. Um, is hostile, right? So Paxton, <laughs> dude, <laughs> Zach, um, I'll let you chime in on this. That one. is dark. That is dark. <laughs> that uh, is dark. That's a fucking wild one because he gets he gets lots put of, in a situation. Yeah, lots you know? of lots of fucking wild eyeballs popping and fucking weird shit going on in that movie. <laughs> um, Are you a fan of the hostile movies, Zach? Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a huge torture Eli porn Roth. guy. Torture people porn. would yeah. people yeah. would disagree with the, They would say some of the stuff I watch is torture porn, but I'm I'm not. I'm not really huge on those. Got ones. it. Yeah, there was um, there was nothing violent in uh, high tension at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and no torture. <laughs> Uh, so if we'll just go around and, and again, like there's so many, so I, we'll try to keep this quick, but how about Phil Connor and Groundhog Day? So I, I thought know. about that one, but I couldn't never yeah, figure out like how it was, exactly it was a true fish out of water. Cause he's or just in Minnesota or whatever. He's just fuck. in that town over yeah. and over again, you know? Yeah. That's, that's why it was like on my list, but I just couldn't grab it. But. What about Billy Madison going back to school? Yeah. I, I, I thought Billy Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore both yep. could, could oh, be. Oh, yeah, Happy Gilmore too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. So, so one that I couldn't believe you didn't think about or pick was was Daniel LaRusso and Karate Kid <laughs> or Karate Kid 2. Because he's, yeah, oh, when he goes to Japan. Japan. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Karate Kid 2 is probably shit, the better yeah. of the two. But, I mean, I think. He, I guess I just know. think in the grand scheme of fish out of water things, like just going to a different school on the West Coast is not that big a deal. He goes there where they all know karate, bro. That's true. They all do know karate, but he also kind of acts like a dickhead. Um, <laughs> well, that doesn't make him not a fish out of water. <laughs> Uh, I'm not so f- I'm not so far into it as the people that are like Daniel LaRusso is the bad guy in the movie because those other guys were terrible. But um, he 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 doesn't do himself any favors. For I, sure. I there was two '80s ones that jumped out to me and I, and I, I they were on my list. I didn't pick them, but uh, Celeste Martin is the character. That's my stepmother's an alien. That's Kim Basinger uh, playing the alien and like she's like trying to like learn from the dog and stuff. And then like Phyllis Neffler, Troop Beverly Hills. Or she's like the the she's like the the rich true uh, Beverly Hills lady, and then she decides to like take the girls and and yeah, do the, right. uh, the the girls got stuff. So well, if you're gonna go there, what about E.T.? I thought of that uh, one. He's a fish out of water, right? Yeah. Well, in, in that same know. vein, Johnny Five from Short Circuit, <laughs> particularly Short Circuit Two, yeah. Short Circuit Johnny Two, when he's in the city, man, Johnny Five so, goes wild. Johnny Five in the city. What, what about old people going back to high school, never been kissed, uh, and oh, Josie and, and, and Twenty One Jump Street? My, Twenty One Jump Street is the best one. I, I had that on my list. So speaking of school, how about Thornton Mellon, Rodney mm. Dangerfield, and Back to School? Rodney Dangerfield, uh, good one. Yep. God, but I feel like I, it's something you've done before. Like I, I don't know how fish out of the water. I mean, you Thorne, know, you're old. He never but... went to school though. He dropped out. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. So yeah. the the big one I thought of that Same I wanted to pick. House, I mean, we've hit this hard on a lot of drafts lately. What about Damon in uh, in uh, fucking Good, Good Will Hunting. Hunting? So I don't think he's a fish out of water because he's so smart. Well, no, I, I, like there would be a weird. It would be an interesting pick because like he's he a still fish hangs out, of water. out in Southie most of the time. Well, my point, but I mean, the argument would be. Be, where he like being in Southie is he's out of water, like he's oh. a fi- he's a fish out of water yeah. that was born out of water. Interesting, okay. interesting. That's not where so I was how going. About, with how that. about a literal fish out of the water? Madison, Daryl Hannah, 
Splash. 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 Um, or Ariel for the Little, Little Mermaid. Right. Those I mean, both would have yeah. been great picks, especially because they're both fish. Well, and then and then Pixar later did Luca, which was le- legit fish out of the water as well. So, I mean, it's basically What about the, the fish on Finding Nemo? I was just saying, Nemo <laughs> literally is at some point out of the water. Yeah, and he... Uh, well, yeah, because I mean, he's, he's on he's a journey. He doesn't know what's sea. going on. He's never been past the reef or whatever the fuck it is. Because well, he tried to touch the butt. He <laughs> lost his his dad. What's his name? Have you, Mel Brooks. Have you guys Mar- seen Marlon uh, Albrooks? <laughs> have you guys seen Pleasantville? Yeah, yeah. Toby Maguire. I actually that's really like that movie. It, it is a good movie. That's a that's one that used to come on cable all the time that I would watch. Now this came up earlier, and I was very proud of uh, Scotch for referencing it. But is Mister Shoop? Oh. Is he a fish out of the water as a, the, the PE teacher having to teach English? Eh, that's that's nah, a stretch, man. That's, that's, that's really wanting to shoehorn okay. that one. Well, so here, 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 here's one that I feel like I, I almost <laughs> – this one, like, I could have gone – I could have very well picked this, like, third round. City Slickers, Billy Crystal. Well, okay. I have it listed. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a really – forgotten gem of a movie i love that movie how about mm-hmm. tom hanks when he gets back from that island that he was fucking stuck on and then all of a sudden he's <laughs> hey, just fucking how, how about how about tom hanks on the island right i mean fuck i mean that, that's fish literally out come out of the water yeah just to be on there with a the volleyball yeah you know, well what about wilson fish out of water right? i know <laughs> volleyball well speak, uh, speaking of tom's life. not even a net when that volleyball came same. back they're like we found so much cum in that volleyball it's like <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) It's a difficult transition, but I was going to say, what about Tom's, Tom Selleck, Mr. Baseball? Oh, Oh, when he goes to Japan? Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's pretty, pretty prototypical. That that movie's rough. The the last one I almost picked, (laughs) I I want to know what you guys would think about this one, but what about William from Almost, in Almost Famous? Oh, yeah. Oh, straight up. That's a good pick. I like that. That's sneaky. Uh, Man, I I should have probably picked that. What about uh, very similar to Coming to America, Lindsay Lohan in Mean Girls, uh, raised in Africa, comes to to all of a sudden be in the the cool high school. Yeah. (laughs) How about about Uncle Buck? Oh, Uncle Buck's good. Mm. He's got to take care of kids. He's got a a cigar and a drill. We can go all fucking night. (laughs) <laughs> what about what about, wait, what, how about, how about a guy that was was born a black man in uh, in a black uh, the a jerk poor black yeah, in poor Louisiana. black child Louisiana. I haven't listed the jerk <laughs> the jerk Navin and and, and the jerk that's I think that could have been a, a choice as it's well interesting because he's bastard. actually he's sort of like a fish out of water at the beginning and at the end yeah if we're going uh, there in different water different he gets into the rich animal. world if we're going there what about white girls. What about uh, what about the Wayne's brothers and white girls when they go full white face and have to hang out with all the fucking rich white guys? <laughs> no, that's that that works fish as well. Out of water, dude. Uh, so this was a deep draft, and I think probably pretty much invalid given that. Brad well, I, I didn't I didn't choose yeah. Blast from the Past, which I previewed in our last that's episode, right. and I was like, I, I stayed away from that. Adam and Blast from the Past, but Brendan Fraser. We did make sure to get Brendan Fraser. He did get he, get, <laughs> he got involved, and so again, yeah. there was a multiple picks where I was like, oh, I can't, I'm not going to pick that one now. Holly because... Shore and Son in Law. That's that was, oh, that's, 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 a good, <laughs> that's a good one. If you would have picked that one, oh, yeah. oh, oh damn it. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, folks. Well, that pretty much wraps up our draft. What are we doing next week? Well, I just got to say, well, come on. Can I not thank Greg for being such a great judge? Oh, that's true. No. He did an excellent job. He had a great scoring system, and that scoring system said that uh, Team 2 was the winner. So <laughs> I do appreciate that. I'm going to have a hard disagree on that, but thanks for coming anyway. <laughs> I will say. Go Niners. Bever metrics. <laughs> if we go back to last season, the the Team 1 and Team 2, if you're drafting first or second, they're now equal again because they were, they were equal last season, and now they both have one win each. So. Hmm. Greg, thank you so much for coming, dude. You took we took so long to get you onto the pod that we had another we released another beer and then we didn't have a contest <laughs> to have someone on the pod because we were like, we can't really have somebody else win a, a, an appearance before we even have Greg. We, we were it. like, we can't give away another appearance because we still have not fulfilled our obligations yeah. from last time. So uh, But we are like Lannisters. We do fulfill our our, our debts. So Lannisters always nice pay the call back. Uh, <laughs> All right, what's going on next week? I think uh, there might be some. Uh, I don't know. I'm so next feeling, week, I'm feeling punchy. I don't let's, think we talk about it though. We, yeah, let's. Oh, uh, we, we, first, we, first rule is we don't. We don't talk, talk about, about it. it. So I mean, if I just reach over and punch somebody right now, like what's going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> this dude, my dude. Uh, how do you say his name? Uh, uh, Chuck Palahniuk. That sounds right. Scott, Go for it. Scott said it really funny earlier. <laughs> 
Pulalinak? <laughs> Pulalinak? I don't know. <laughs> Scott's looking at me like he doesn't have any idea what I'm talking about, I which really makes don't. me even happier. Um, so he's a writer. Chuck Palahniuk stuffs. Wrote a bunch of books. I got really into him as a younger as a younger man, uh, and it's one of those things where like I was really into it, and now I wonder if I went back and read that stuff again, if I would still be into it. I don't know. But uh, he wrote a book called Fight Club. They made a movie out of it. Uh, it is really really good i think it holds up watched it just pretty recently great soundtrack great direction um great main actors and actresses and a lot of really cool bit parts We're coming going back to fincher yep and uh i mean you can't really go wrong with fincher unless you watch that dog shit facebook movie i just like how you said that i said the name earlier and i didn't even know there was a book of this we would you literally I, I didn't say the fucking name i was wondering because i don't think remember him saying i, didn't I say literally shit. said I didn't chuck know there was a- earlier and you went <laughs> i was like just mocking this, you i was no, just making fun of you because you're an idiot <laughs> i thought you were like saying his name i didn't know there was a book uh all right <laughs> So we're going to do Fight Club next week. There will be lots more great fucking super intelligent conversations like this. I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> That's the noise you made. You did it again now, you fucking asshole. I'm going to cut Brad. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut Brad's pigtails off and then we're going to fight oh uh, yes so uh that's what we're gonna have we're gonna have a fucking fight club right before and then we'll be uh we'll be talking to each other holding uh, various meats on our faces so that the swelling goes down i know which meat i'm gonna choose <laughs> some, oh boy some kind of dick shaped meat <laughs> yeah some kind oh uh, all right guys go get your phallic meats meet us back here next week same bat time same bat channel <laughs> we love you Bye bye mm-hmm.